checking out the yoga collective, burn somewhere between 1,000 to 1,200 calories. Just after the first wave of COVID, yes. I saw his change and I was inspired and he didn't just help my life, he changed my life. Let's sit over here and talk some shit. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It's 10.40 a.m. right now uh, and I've just started my Saturday. I'm going to be checking out the Yoga Collective, which is a new and up and coming yoga studio in Columbus 7. They are located at Independence Arcade on the first floor. It's run by this guy called Aaron and his wife. Um, they're pretty popular on social media, so you can look them up. I'll probably pop their profiles for you. Actually, good friends with uh, my girlfriend. We ran into them at one golf face about a week ago. He was telling me all about the studio and what the sessions are like and stuff. And I've always wanted to try my hand at yoga, but I've just never really found the time to get it done. He was telling me that the first few lessons are always the most challenging. You would burn somewhere between 1,000 to 1,200 calories, which really shocked me, because you don't really expect that from a yoga lesson, right? So he was also saying like how much it has helped him improve uh, his mobility, strength. I actually had my first lesson on Monday. It was around 6.30 in the evening. Well, I, I actually promised him that I would come and somehow attend the class. I made the effort to swing by anyway, it's really close to Fitness Connection, so it took me like five minutes. And oh my God, it was the most challenging thing that I've ever done in my entire life. When I told Tessara this, she was like in shock. She was like, what was it that hard? I managed to somehow keep up pretty well. Uh, and Aaron himself said, look, I was pretty impressed with how well you performed on, you know, given the fact that it was only your first day. So yeah, I'm on my way now for my second class. I uh, had a quick chat with Aaron the other day and I asked him if it was okay for me to get this on the vlog and he said, yeah, no problem. He just needs, he just wants us to uh, make sure we respect everyone else's privacy, which we're gonna do. So we're gonna be getting like a few tight shots of Aaron conducting his class and a few close-ups of me dying. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm on my way now, 10.45. I have 15 minutes to squeeze in a cup of coffee and get to Independence Arcade to start this. So yeah, stay tuned. That she has never fully been. For she was a human doing, a human moving, a human seeing. I think he is in reach your shoulders all the way up towards your ears. And then every exhale, open out the right shoulder. On your exhale, hands into your heart center. Biceps to your ears. On your exhale, hands into your heart center. And down. I just wrapped up my second yoga lesson and it was just as hard as the first one. Drenched as you can see. My heart rate probably was at say between 140 to 150 beats per minute. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. Tessara joined me. Swing over to Tessara. Okay. Uh, it was her first it was her first class. I think she did way better than I did. She's a lot more mobile and she's smaller, so I guess it's easier. I'm just too big. Like I like I just find it really hard. But like Aaron over here who runs the Yoga Collective, he is just phenomenal in terms of his mobility. He's crazy good. So if you are interested, 
to swing by the yoga collective and maybe uh, get in your first yoga lesson. I'm going to give it to Aaron over here to basically run you through some of the things you need to know about the place and how you can get started. Hey guys, how's it going? And thank you, Manik, for the amazing introduction. Uh, a lot of us decide not to come for yoga or decide to put off starting yoga because everyone feels like they are a little too unflexible or like, uh, in, sorry, inflexible or a little less mobile. So they think that they need to first get more mobile to start yoga, which is kind of a, a wrong mentality to have because the more you come for yoga, the easier everything becomes. You become more flexible, you become a little bit more mobile, you get in more in touch with your body. I had a massive misconception about yoga because I thought yoga was just a thing that a bunch of, like a small group of people just got together yeah. and did just to pass time. Mm. But it's clearly not the case. Like yeah. I have actually understood more about my body. I was telling Dehan uh, in the car on the way here yeah. that I've realized how tight one side of my body is mm. as opposed to the other side. Yeah. And it's because I'm, uh, I'm right-handed. So right. I'm using my right side a lot, a more, lot more, which is why my right side feels far more stiff compared to my left. Mm me lift, lifting a considerable amount of weight at the gym yeah. is far easier than this. I find this way harder. <laughs> way harder. That's something that I didn't think I'd uh, experience at my first lesson, which yeah. I did and it was crazy. Yes. So I, I don't know if yoga is something uh, that I would really enjoy, but I think you need to do things that challenge you and yoga challenges me and I feel like I need to continue coming. The more in, in touch you get with your body and the more body weight things that you do, you start to make the connections and realizations of like everything, how your body functions, you know, and, and with yoga we first learn to move each and every single joint, each and every single uh, body part individually, so hopefully they work well as a mm. cohesive unit. I think even for bodybuilders, yeah. which you know, this channel would cater most towards. I feel like even for them to understand mind-muscle connection and things like that, yoga yeah, really helps. For sure. Because like, every single uh, movement that you put us through today, uh, like, when you put, put us through that movement, you say, okay, you're going to engage your glutes, you're going to engage your hamstrings, whatever, and like, bam, it hits. Mm -hmm. The minute you say it, yeah. I feel it. I That's feel my glute engaging, I feel my hamstring engaging, yeah. I feel my lower back engaging. Exactly. So in terms of getting to know your body and how it really functions, it's yeah. brilliant. I used to be one of those guys that hated yoga. Mm. I used to think it's for girls, yeah. you know, like... Uh, like it's, the, it's the snobbish crowd. That, yeah, exactly, you know, to. so like that was my mentality as well. And, but I used to be heavily into bodybuilding, heavily mm. into powerlifting, and I used to be a Muay Thai fighter professionally mm. uh, for, a, for a long time. The time I did my first yoga class, I realized that I have no connection with my body at all. I, ha I realized that I had to get more in touch with my body, yeah. just for the longevity, of, just for the look of aesthetics. I was sacrificing a lot of my mobility and a lot of the longevity of my life. Oh. I covered this in my first video as well. I feel like a lot of aspiring bodybuilders today yeah. are so focused on building a beautiful body which is fine, which yeah. is great. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like there needs to be a considerable amount of growth that your body needs to achieve year on year. And you need to really focus on impacting your health exactly. more than anything. Yeah. So if your body doesn't, if, if you are not able to do things that you weren't able to do before, mm -hmm. then that's not really a metric that you need to go by in terms of improving your health. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. No Thanks, worries. man. Good. Appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks for letting us shoot in here. We just got to a fitness connection. Just wrapped up my yoga session and I feel I feel good. I have a couple of clients that I need to train. Today's going to be a very long day. I mean, every day is a long day. And I'm having a client of mine, an online client of mine, one of my first clients on the channel. I'm going to be talking to him about his 16-week transformation that uh, we did some time back. And then I'm gonna get ready for a, a wedding. One of my really good friends is getting married, so that's happening later on at uh, Water's Edge. So yeah, stay tuned. Plate loaded incline press. A week later. Huh?
very rarely would you see me um, supporting or helping my clients with their lifts. I'm always there, right next to them, but I'll never uh, offer them a helping hand unless they're really struggling or really push past their limits. Uh, so in this case, Roshan was nearing failure and I just gave him um, very little support in completing those last few reps just because I just wanted him to have the, uh, the mental confidence of finishing his set on a high. Don't be ashamed to add smaller plates uh, to the bar. There's no shame in lifting light. You'd rather lift the right way than ego lift because ego lifting does nothing for the body. It only boosts your ego um, and you will only impress people that really know nothing about the gym. So if you are somebody who's dedicated on building your body and who's really determined to build a good physique, focus on lifting your own weight, focus on lifting that weight right and focus on lifting a weight that's manageable and then increase it gradually and make sure you log your weights week on week and make sure you track your progress. Tracking your progress in the gym is of paramount importance. Um, it's the only metric you can go by in terms of judging where your strength is at and judging where your muscle endurance is at. Get into this position. Huh? Slant your body this way. Break your hips slightly. Head down towards the floor and pull the rope, squeeze it down like this and send the weight up. So until you're, you feel a stretch here. Good. Just after the first wave of COVID. Yes. I saw his change and I was inspired and he didn't just mm -hmm. help my life, he changed my life. Hey guys, uh, just wrapped up a little podcast session with my client Elia and uh, Dehan and I grabbed a burger. Uh, it's been my, uh, like I love burgers, but I never usually have it every day. I've literally had a burger this past week every day for meal too. And uh, I feel like, actually I uh, Diana posted it the other day and uh, he made a lot of sense with his post, I thought. It's actually a really good snack. If you manage your meals throughout the day, I feel like incorporating a burger is if a burger is something that you really enjoy having, it could be a really good uh, pre-workout meal because uh, in terms of, uh, it has really good macro balance, right? Good protein, good carbohydrates, something that's going to keep you full, satiated and give you like a burst of energy. And it's also not that big. Uh, it's, it's very light as opposed to you having like uh, something like rice and curry or something like oatmeal. It's going to like keep you like um, too full. Uh, and that kind of gets you lazy. Sometimes you just need like straight up like um, simple carbs to just give you a bit of a kick. Um, yeah, so I had a really good burger and I'm getting ready now to just like maybe smash some arms, a little bit of back and then quickly come back because I don't have much time We're running late. I have to be at water's edge by 7 o'clock. Uh, so yeah, I'm just making a quick cup of coffee and just added two sachets of Nescafe, uh, some diabetes salt, uh, oops, some diabetes salt. And I've been a bit low on calories today. Just had like four eggs for breakfast and then the burger. So I'm gonna add like one of these creamers. Coffee done, it's not that hot because mm, I can't really spend too much time waiting for it to cool down. So. I'm gonna gulp this bad boy down and uh, yeah, Dehan's really stressing out because he has like a couple of other meetings to attend to, plus he needs to pick up his girlfriend and we all know how that is. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I hope mine doesn't watch this. 
so yeah mm. that is good to go let's sit over here and talk some shit until i finish my coffee and keep going so hope everyone's day is going really well if, uh, if there's anyone struggling with anything just you know brush it off it's going to be okay you're still alive um just keep going try and find a try and think like think about solutions think about um think about ways you can um you know help you improve your situation you will definitely come up with one uh, there's always a way to overcome anything the number one thing you can do is stop repeating the same mistake over and over again it's like the easiest way to go about it uh, just like keep reminding yourself like over and over again make little notes uh in your head and yeah just like be positive just like learn how to control what you can control and don't worry about anything else oh look who's back yeah here you go. okay okay i'm done with telia i ate coffee no oh no yeah <laughs> not my uh, not my favorite flavor i prefer the gourmet vanilla over this just bought this one change make sure he me sub show yes it is possible to dine so <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's blast. Jer Eliante pulling up, feeling like Harry Belafonte. Look at my racks, feel like Serena when hit from the back. Swing, pull like Jim, waves on swim, and a rock tins with the tech. Butterfly doors on the Tesla, I just spent shit on gas. Jer Eliante pulling up, feeling like Harry Belafonte. Look at my ass, feel like Serena when hit from the back. Swing, pull like Jim, waves on swim, and a rock tins with the tech. I'm watching on home video